All right, hey guys, we're back with another video. And today, I think I'm gonna take off this tin so I can take off the muffler here or the whatever you wanna call that. I can't think of it right now. But I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna take the tin off and I'm gonna take that into school and weld up this big huge crack in it. Clean out the sediment bowl, empty the gas, cause that's all dirty. It's got some dirty dirt in there. And yeah, I think that will be for all for today. Let's get to it. So, I decided to take the air filter out first, just by precautions, because I haven't taken that out in a while. And I accidentally broke the boat right there. I forgot to put some WD-40 on it, or some penetration stuff, but I did on that side. <laughs> and I got the left side one out pretty easily, but not the right one. And yeah, I'll go show you the filter. But there's one thing I noticed too. I don't think it was sealing very well back there. I'll go look at the filter and show you guys. Okay, I just put it on the table here and the seal is okay. There's dust that flies off it, but the most important thing is if you look in the inside, there's dust in there starting to form or it, maybe it was has been in there a long time. And that's why I don't think it was getting a very good seal up here. And I think the filter's probably fine. It's just, it just needs to be sealed better. That's all. Yeah, so let's clean it up and put it back in. There's a lot of crap in this thing. I got it all out and it looks amazing now. One thing I want to mention is look at the, oh, my thing just broke. Sorry for the language. <laughs> my uh, stand just broke. Yeah, but look at these trees, nice and fall. So pretty. Woo. Yeah, but yep, there's the air filter. I'll put it back in. I'll probably wipe all the edges off up here for the seal so there's gets no dirt around those. And yeah, let's do that. took off the tin, basically, uh, even though that, that was a long time ago. And I got the air filter put in now. And now I'm gonna, oh, and I got the, the grill off. And yeah, it's a little dirty, just a little bit. 
and there's also a tiny little bit, tiny leak up there, but it's like nothing huge. Like it's like probably a slow, it's a very, very slow, slow leak. And then you get the training fluid and oil leaking. Not too bad. Training fluid's the most out of everything. That's all right though. Um, but yeah, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this off but it's gonna be hard to get to those bolts back there. Probably gonna have to look up some videos how to do it because I do not know how to. So yeah, let's do, let's, let's get that on next. Let's do it. success after uh, four days of slowly moving bolts we got the manifold off and under here there's the crack you can see daylight through the other side if I get the camera in the right area there you go you can see just a little bit daylight through that crack but I'll go to the other side and show you can see the, whoops. The, the tunnel there. And then right in the middle of the screen, that's where the crack is. And top left is this port up there. But yeah, I got all of them off. Seals don't look too bad at all. Not too bad. But I, of course, I might, I'm, ugh, I'm gonna need new ones. They're rusted pretty bad, and I'll go show you what the fuel pump looks like. I mean, I'm not the fuel pump, the carb or whatever. Looks pretty good. I looked inside, there's no crap in there, no carb buildup, but yeah, all, we got all the bolts out, but they were not, I don't, I don't wanna say rusted, but they were in there really tight and rusted, so yeah, I'm gonna say rusted, whatever. But we got everything off, we got the fuel pump. I mean, whatever, I'm just gonna say carb now. Got the carb all situated on the block. Yeah, everything's situated. We checked to see if the choke works and the choke does work, thank God. So everything here works, thank goodness. And it only took four days to get all those bolts out, which was a pain in the butt. And then I didn't realize this, but these were nuts. And one of the nuts kept getting caught right here. So we had, I had to lift it up and the nut was screwed off, but yeah. So that's all there. No, no uh, blah blah, no PTO work. There's no time for that and way too much to be ripped off. But next what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take off the fuel uh, cup, whatever you wanna call it, and we're gonna clean it out and empty all the bad gas out of it. Even though it's not that bad, just coated. Need to get it out of there. Yeah, let's get to it. finished getting the fuel filter out the fuel bowl and I here uh, I had a clip before this that showed what how I got it out blah 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 and what it looked like it had no audio and it was the conclusion of my video so I'll show a clip now it was pretty dirty um, there's a lot of crap in the bottom I couldn't tell if that was like paint or rust I have no idea, and I don't know how it got through the screen, or if it was just there before, but this is what it looks like now. It looks 10 times better, 10 times better. It's just a little yellow on the top, 
I mean, you can clearly see through it. And I got it looking so good. Here, I'll put it to the light. It looks so good. You can't see the scratches in it at all. And yeah, I just, I got it looking so good. Um, now, yep, there's just my fingerprints on it now. But yep, it looked beautiful before. But now I'm gonna put that back in and that's gonna be off camera. And that kind of, that, that, that pretty much concludes this video. It concludes what I did. I got the tin off, got the fuel filter changed. I got the manifold off. And now I suppose what the main topic would be is to get that manifold welded. But I talked to my welding teacher today and he does not want to go through the process of doing that. So. I'm just gonna put new seals on it and find a new solution of what to do. But yeah, this is the end of the video. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. And have a lovely evening, night, day, morning. Don't know what it is, bye.